So let's go to the other end of the spectrum. That's fantastic for your mom, but let's go back to childhood. You know, you mentioned, Dr. Pamela, there's a lot of toxins out there today. Toxins that we, when we were children, did not have to deal with. And so we didn't have the childhood that the kids today have. The environment, the food that is not food, the water, right? Everything is so riddled with toxicity. So people ask me all the time, are these patches safe for children? The first two people I patched were my children. That was my personal choice. I found this technology and I couldn't get home fast enough to put this patch on my daughter, Taylor. That was my main focus. She had been in a wheelchair for 15 years, required full care, nonverbal, like we had been through every kind of therapy under the sun, including many types of stem cell therapies in and out of the country, injections, uh -huh. hyperbarics. I mean, we did 15 years at that being the base and everything else holistic around it. So I couldn't get home fast enough to put this on the back of her neck. I didn't care what it cost. I knew it wasn't gonna cost $25,000 for one patch. I'd paid that for one injection. So I knew it wasn't gonna cost that. It was literally a cup of coffee. But people ask me all the time, is this safe for kids? Now we know we don't have any studies on children, right? No pregnant or nursing mothers. But as you mentioned for yourself, you know, for your your child, Dr. Dennis, you know, and I would love to know each of your thoughts on that because you are working with people. Just like you said, your whole focus is to help other people share this with other people. How do you answer that question? Besides, it's your personal choice. We have a pediatrician oh. in our group, Dr. Annabelle, mm -hmm. and she's got young, a young daughter and mm -hmm. she uses it on kids. And she basically the recommendation is that the child should be able to tell you how they feel. In other words, I don't know how your daughter is relating to the patches. You might be able to tell us a little more in some after a while, but when the kid can tell you, you know, how they feel with the patch, without the patch, or, you know, with the patch again, then that's the only um, proviso that we, we recommend. Otherwise, I would use it on the kids and we use it on our pets. We use it on our tiny dogs and cats and horses. And some people are using it on their plants. I mean, these things are non-toxic, y'all. Not so much like many medications out there, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's basically a very brilliant technology, which is God-given because David says he prayed and this is what came down to him. Mm -hmm. And so I think that this is something that is way ahead of many, many aspects of medicine. I know there are pharmaceutical companies that would do anything to be able to get hold of this technology. But because of our patents, nobody can do a Me Too product like this, you know, mm -hmm. and there won't be anything else out there that is like that. So we can keep our advantage going and share it with the billion people that he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Way safer than medications for the kids. I mean, there's no comparison. <laughs> it's like their side effects. Oh, you, I didn't realize your story, Stacy, but you, you, you know, you know better than anybody with all the, all the things that you tried and the medications are, you know, way more uh, disconcerting than, than the patches. Yeah. Simple. I agree with that. <laughs> Dr. Kathy, do you have anything you want to add? Well, you know, like, like uh, um, Dr. Pam said, you know, kids can be, can use them, but you want to make sure that they're verbal, that they can go ahead and tell you what's going on. And then obviously people use them for their animals. We use them for our little chihuahua all the time. We had a little chihuahua that almost uh, didn't make it. And we put the patches on him and he's still here with us. So it is, it can work. It can definitely work. Yeah. Yep. There's um, Stacy. I saw, I just saw something here back to the uh, question of transplant or you know, immune suppressive therapy to uh, decrease rejection. Uh, somebody put in here, her example was that um, uh, her mother had a trans had an organ transplant last December patched with uh, passed for three to four months with uh, X39 almost spoke, spoke Spanish as he said with X39 Eon and ice wave and the doctor was able to decrease one of her medications and I hear these stories all the time people are saying oh my doctor had to lower like Dr. Kathy was saying you got to watch you know your blood pressure is going down your sugar and things like that and they and what do they always say? I've never seen this before, mm. right? They yeah. say, "Oh, I've never seen this before." We don't we don't understand. And some things can happen spontaneously, but not not with uh, you know not with this this regularity. Mm -hmm. It's it's um, 
that, that's why even though you may not have a, a dramatic you know story yourself it's like compounding interest you you're going you're creating half a billion cells every day i would rather if i'm going to make cells i want to make good ones so even though i don't feel anything you know dramatic like uh, mental clarity or mood or anything they can't work for everybody else and not for me and i've seen it work for so many people i've heard the, these you know remarkable stories that you know i just you you can't you can't deny it. you can deny it but um mm -hmm. that to your own detriment yeah. and that's why allopathic doctors have a hard time dealing with this technology yeah. because they are brought up on the pharmaceutical model and mm -hmm. it's a this for that ever since yep. you know i literally had a patient come to me with 26 different medications i'm in primary care <laughs> that's I'm the, first, I'm the gatekeeper i'm the first person they come to when they have a problem but then they go off to their specialist and they come back with 26 different medications that she was taking she, there were like three of each category she didn't realize that she was taking the same thing in three different iterations and all the side effects she was having so when when you go to your own doctor and the doctor says oh pooey that can't work because mm -hmm. you have to give a medication you may have to teach them something. You may have to be kind to them and ask them if they can support you in this new venture that you're doing. Ask them just to monitor you and yeah. see how you're doing because likelihood is you're going to get better and they're not going to understand why. And that is what they should want for you. They should want... Oh off of the medicines, out of their office, and living your best life. Amen. Right. So, uh, into uh, wellness, but a lot of them are into sickness, the sickness model. Well, uh, and it, I think the doctors are doing the, you know, what they believe is the best, but they just, they just don't, they're not open. Um, I was open because, like I said, I was looking for something that wouldn't cause the, um, or increase the risk of infection in my daughter. Um, and I knew I knew some other um, natural pharmaceuticals had had uh, had some good success with that, and I thought, well, you know, why not try it? But you, back to your allopathic, you know, the medical doctors. If you have high blood pressure, they're they're trying to they're not trying to address the issue. What they're trying to do is trick your body. So they'll give you a medicine to make your heart beat less forcefully, which decreases the pressure coming out of your heart. Well, that that's not that's not the problem. Or they'll give you a diuretic water pill so you get rid of you pee more. Well, that's not the problem either. Or they'll give you a medicine that will um, vasodilate, will open your you know relax your your arteries. But that's not the problem either. So they're they're giving these workarounds that then and that's why they come up. That's why they have side effects. They're not addressing the root cause. So and and you've seen that you know you, you've you've uh, fought against that your whole. Your whole fifty years. So there's there's no comparison. And people are posting here, you know, their blood sugar, their hemoglobin A1C went from eight point five, which is their average blood sugar for the last three or four months, down to five point eight. Oh. I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty simple, you know. If like I don't know how the computer works. To me, it's it's magic. And when it doesn't work, I get real frustrated because it was just working. I said, I don't care how this works. If it's magic and it works, I'm I'm about the results. And in, in fact, I'm a paid speaker for a, a wound uh, a wound uh, healing device that uses oxygen. And I started using that when nobody else would because you know I I needed I was desperate with my uh, with my patient population and it was inexpensive. It was you know, it was very convenient, and I, trim, I saved millions of dollars. Um, because it was effective and it worked. I didn't have them going back to the operating room. And I just said, well, let's try it. And within two days, I could see it was working. That's all I care about. I said, like, I don't care if it's magic. Now they have good studies. And I know that's kind of simplistic, but I just need to get the wounds. To, I need people to get better. You know, I, I, I don't, I can't, I don't have the luxury of putting them on another medicine. So I, I'm going to cut things off or they're going to, you know, be incapacitated. So that's the way I think. Thank you. Another thing I find too is there's so many people that will go to a physician and they can't get the answers. They don't know why they have this. So, it, oh. so a lot of times what happens is they're put on a medication because let's try this, but it really doesn't address the issues that they have. 
you know, the mm-hmm. lifestyles that we leave the day, the diet that we have, the toxins that we're exposed to. We have a lot of people, I think, that have problems that, that are not necessarily part of the medical community anymore. We just don't know why it's occurring. So when people don't have those answers, they get very frustrated. So the technology that we have to share has helped a lot of those people with those that are not getting the answers. So that's what I really love about it. Okay. We, we don't have to worry about, you know, being put on a medication just because someone's had a significant issue. So I find a lot of that and I'm able to go ahead and suggest some things, utilize the patch technology to help people who haven't been able to get their answers. Perfect. I, 